How do I calculate statistics and add projection information to multiple images in a batch process, as well as run parallel processing with the batch editor? Let's look at ERDAS Imagine on the Home tab and select Metadata. I'll click on File Open and select a file from the Sorrento folder. It is a TIFF file, and from the files of type, I've chosen all file-based raster formats as my preference. Click the asterisk button. So now that every time I enter a folder, I will see all raster-based images, whether they're TIFFs, IMGs, ECWs, etc. So I select the TIFF folder uh, image and click OK. Here we'll see in the metadata that I'm missing statistical information as well as projection information. This image has a map model. It has an upper left X, lower right Y. The pixel cell size is 0.15 meters and it has a, a model, an affine model. I could select the edit pull down and individually for each image in this folder calculate the statistics as well as add or change the projection. But I want to do this in a batch process to all the images at one time. In order to do that, I will click on the manage data tab and select edit image metadata. I'll click on file open and in the Sorrento folder choose the same TIFF file. And what I would like to do is compute statistics as well as change the map projection. Let's click on the options and we can see that calculating statistics gives you a few options. You can ignore values, background values, um, select, the, select the bin function type as well as a skip factor. We're going to leave ours as the defaults and now go under the options of change map projection. Here, I can choose from a selected category and a projection in my list, or I can open up the projection chooser by clicking on the small globe icon. Now, I can choose from any of the standard projections, or I can come under the custom tab and choose a projection type and select the projection that this image is supposed to be in from the pull down menus. So I know that this image should have a projection of UTM zone 55. The spheroid and datum are both WGS 84. And I can choose again to select these by using the pull down lists, or I can also enter the EPSG code if I know what the EPSG code is. And I do know that this is 32755. Now I need to click on the Enter button on my keyboard to activate Find. Then I'll select the Find button, and it's going to select the exact projection of this EPSG code. So I'll click OK, and then OK again. So now that I have entered the correct EPSG code, I can come down here, and if I choose OK, it's only going to do those operations on a single image. If I choose batch, it's going to open up the batch command editor. At the top, I'll see the batch command, and this is the script of what we just selected in the graphical user interface. I can see here that I have only have one image, but down at the bottom, I can select add files. And here I will select the rest of the 10 files, the remaining that I have in the folder, and choose OK. Now I can come to the bottom, and if I select Run Now, it's going to run each of these processes on single image on one core of my machine. If I click on Submit, what I can do is I can start processing this at a later time. Um, I can also start distributed processing if I have Condor set up on my system, or I can select that I want to process this on multiple cores on my machine. Now my laptop that I'm running this on has two cores, so I'm going to select two cores. I won't go over that number, but if you had a quad core system or eight or 12 cores and you had enough licenses in the bank here in order to bump that up, then you can process multiple images, each image on a separate core. 
Now let's click OK and the batch process will start and we're going to see that there are two images in progress right now running at the same time, one on each core. Once the process has succeeded on both of those, it will move to the next two and continue processing all the way down. So we'll let that finish and when it's done, we're going to open up the metadata of these first Sorrento ortho and have a look at the metadata. The process is finished, so I will click close, go back to the home tab and open up the metadata. I will open the first Sorrento ortho and we will now see that I have calculated statistical information as well as added the projection information UTM zone 55 WGS 84 with the correct EPSG code. Let's select the next image in the list and make sure and that as well as added correctly. So that is how you can calculate statistics and add projection information to multiple images in a batch process, as well as run parallel processing with the batch editor.